What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 12 of our algorithmic trading with Python and Quantopian tutorial series. In the last video we covered, uh, or the last videos we've been covering, uh, testing multiple alpha factors, combining them and seeing why we want to combine them. In general, it just, it helps. Um, and it's, it's just been very clear through the testing here that it's it's been good to us to, to, to do this. So now what we want to do is, let's say you found a great combination. I mean, honestly, this combination isn't that bad. I mean, we still have some volatility here. Ideally, it, like what I'd like to see is, is like a nice smooth, just up curve. That would be great. Like a nice compounding up curve, as smooth as possible. This one's not as smooth as I would like it, but, um, but this is pretty good and everything's pretty much been improved. Um, so anyway, let's say we're happy with this and we want to, we want to move to back test it. So, um, so yeah, so what we're going to do basically is just take this, this, this pipeline and use it because we've got shorts and longs. So we can actually pass this in. So, um, just assuming we were to take this strategy, uh, we could just actually, I'll have to copy that in a second. Let's just go to algorithms. Uh, and this was, this is, I think the one that we left on. Right. Ward. So let's just copy this, uh, come down here, new algorithm, uh, Q tutorial combined alphas, so create the algorithm, fantastic, paste, and then we'll come over here, take this pipeline, copy, hopefully that, that went well, <laughs> I saw some, some weird thing, but okay, uh, make pipeline, initialize, make pipeline, so do this, paste. Now, um, initially we have this. I am gonna comment this out though soon enough because we did want to see how we would do, but first we just kind of want to see here. So we've got the quantiles, we've got shorts and longs. We come down here and we just perfect 50-50 weight on the shorts and longs. Uh, and we can back test this like now. So let me fix the dates here. It should be, uh, we should go with 06, 0, or actually what were we doing? We were doing uh, 01, 01, 2015 and then 01, 01, 2016. So of course, we're still using a market neutral year over a long period of time. The market is not neutral. Therefore, we need to still solve for that problem, but one thing at a time, young Padawan. Next, run the full back test. Uh, we probably should have changed this to a million, but uh, oh, first of all, we need to make our, our new imports. Back to the algorithm. Uh, so what was that import? Uh, and is it the same? I wasn't prepared. I think we can just do pipeline.data. I think we can do the same import. I don't think that one changes. So paste. Let's just build it real quick and see if it compiles. And then if it does, uh, I'll continue. Loading pipeline data. If we see like 1%, I'll, I'll pull the trigger. Just waiting to make sure we don't get an error. Now, while we wait, I just want to in, uh, uh, introduce the, the Optimize API. Okay, cool. I wanted to talk about the Optimize API while the backtest is running. So now, let's change this. Is this, this should be 1 million. Let's make it 10 million. 10 million is a suggestion by the uh, for the Quantopian um, allocation. So we'll do 10 million. Run the full backtest. Now, do note we still don't pay full commissions. We'll we'll check. We'll, we're going to change this a few times before we actually care. So eventually, I will remove it. And if I forget, someone can feel free to yell at me. But it, the, the plan is to, to to actually do default commissions. So <clears throat> so while that's running, let me bring up the optimize API. So first of all, the optimize API is making use of what's known as convex optimization. So you don't really need to know a whole lot about that, but basically if it will, for one, if you want to learn more about it, you can go to the, my, the machine learning tutorial series where we actually, where pretty much we cover that through uh, when we talk about the support vector machine. But in this case, basically the idea is we can, this, this line here is pretty good. You can specify the desired state of your portfolio in terms of objectives, ugh, objectives and constraints. So your objective, what is your, portfolio want to maximize or minimize. So, you know, minimize volatility, maximize alpha, maximize your sharp ratio, constraint, something that your portfolio has to adhere to, uh, leverage one. Okay. So leverage must equal one. Okay. In your universe, we've already kind of been through the universe. So he's got some examples here. Initially, let's see, it came out initially, it came out for the, uh, just for the research. Uh, but now it's available on the actual algorithms. 
Uh, one thing to note is this is highly likely to change <laughs> or at least improve over time. I've, um, there is some assurance that nothing will be, um, everything should still be backwards compatible, but that might, that might change, okay? Uh, the last time I put out tutorials on Quintopian, uh, they quickly came out with 2.0. So just as a note, this might change over time. So if you're getting errors or whatever, look, look up and, and see what you, what you need to possibly change. Uh, okay, algorithm still running, just want to check. So what we'll do is, first of all, you, you can go through here and play with it in the actual notebook setting if you want. I, I think that it makes more sense, at least in terms of when you're picking your portfolio, to really just, just do it in the algorithm itself. This is kind of like a, it just makes sense there. So what I'm gonna do is, there's an algorithm here. I'm gonna literally just clone this algorithm. And I think we'll leave everything possibly here. I'm trying to look through this code. Um, I'm not. Uh, basically, the thing that will change is this here and here, the combined alpha part. And then this will stay the same. The sector will stay the same. So, what this will do, hopefully, is balance us across sectors as well, which should be pretty cool. Um, that's just like a new thing to basically add to your strategy so you're not overweighted into one specific sector. So already we're doing pretty well. And I mean, this is pretty pretty much matching what we thought we were seeing in the, the uh, alpha lens where we kind of just kind of do crappy or not crappy, but also not great in the first few months. And then we kind of picked up. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're already on a much better track than we were initially. And again, this is using the, the, the quantiles. Um, and I don't think default commission. Uh, we'll ha I'll have to check that one, but I'm pretty sure we're, well, I guess we don't have to. I can just view code. Yeah, so we're using this. Um, but we can look here, the transactions. Um, there's a fair amount of trans transactions a day, so it might have an impact, but we'll, we'll check that in a minute. Um, and there's maybe a little bit of volatility here. I mean, you wouldn't want to see, it'd be nice if we didn't have such volatility right here. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. So I'm going to keep working on this one. So while we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to continue waiting on this. Um, I'm going to come over here now. This is the, our old pipeline basically. And I'm going to go ahead and bring these two lines in pipeline data syntax, pipeline data Morningstar. Copy. Coming over here to the top, we're going to make sure we import those two things. Um, he's already imported Morningstar's M star. We could use just M star. That's okay, though. I'm, a, I'm not going to worry about that, that overlapping import for now. Uh, and coming down here, let me think here what we want to do. Base universe. So he's not even using the Q1500 in this example. I kind of want to just because um, we should, we, I'd like to keep it as close to what we had before. I'm just trying to show you how you can work on that, that simple skeleton, especially because I, I see it as being highly plausible that the optimized API is changed. And this exact code won't work, but hopefully if there is a change, you can go to, to the to a source on Quantopian, take his example and make very simple changes to it uh, to use what we're doing. Okay, looking at this right here anyway, uh, huge improvement over what we had before um, already. Um, I, I'm pretty sure volatility is relatively close, but our sharp ratio is above two, which is fantastic. Sortino's great, as we probably expect. We did beat the market pretty significantly. Max drawdown is not, you know, the same as uh, return. So that's always good. Now, while we're continuing to modify that other algorithm, let's do set default commission. So, or let's not modify commission. So we're using the default trade commissions. Run that back test. And while that is running, I'm going to come back over here. Uh, hopefully this isn't too confusing. I'm bouncing around. I'm trying to just save as much time for everyone as possible. So, um, so let me now, what I'm going to do is we'll probably need to change these numbers. I would probably go with, cause we want to, we want to invest in more companies than that. Than 1.5%. That's a, in theory a very small a number of companies. 
the Quantopian fund wants a larger number, so let's try to use a large number. Plus, in theory, we're, we're dealing with, as we've already seen, 522 securities. So hopefully a number around 500 total securities. So 1.5% was not going to allow that. <laughs> so, so we'll go here. Um, you know, 1.5% would allow much less than even, you know, 100. So, uh, okay. That's good. We've got these new imports, the Q1500. I kind of just want to like throw and Q1500 in here. Uh, and I could, we could almost, uh, let's do built-in US equity pricing. That might make sense to have that there. Uh, and then volume must be greater than zero. I mean, I guess, I guess that sounds good. I didn't know that was something we would need, but let's go ahead and, oh, what have I done? Let's see. Okay, so now, and Q, Q1500 US. Monthly top volume, universe equals. Oh, so this is how he's choosing. He was choosing based on like volume. Interesting. I see why, we're, why he's using these now. We could go off of that. I really wanna get as close to what we were using <laughs> as possible. Uh, and just show the difference of applying what we have. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna, uh, you can, we can try that or maybe I'll add it to the very end or something or maybe I'll put it in the text-based version because I want to copy this as close as what the way that I, we've built it in Alpha Lens and cut away as much extra. So I'm going to do this, uh, take this, copy we've got the universe testing factor is what we passed so let's come back over here interesting uh and basically combined alpha will equal what we've just copied so let's come all the way up here paste let's call this something different so i don't confuse myself so we'll call this um optimize plus alpha combos save Coming down here, now alpha is no longer combined alpha, it should be testing factor. We pass the sector, sector not null, pipe, all this will leave. <laughs> I hope it runs. Let's see if this is done. And it is. Okay, so we, uh, we lost a little bit of our returns, but that's okay, we expected that to be the case. Uh, but what's important is now we're paying, this is what what you would have actually, well, in theory, if you paid full, like, personal interactive broker account fees. So it's actually really good. Like, we, we did fine um, uh, with this combination. So awesome. Now let's add the optimize API to this to help us kind of pick our strategy and just see if we get any improvement. First, though, let's make sure it runs because we really kind of, monkey patched this. Oh, we gotta fix the dates. Uh, let's do 01, 01, 2015. 01, 01, 2016, build. Hopefully not too many errors. Combined alpha, not defined. Where is that? In the screen. Um, wait, where, where, let's see, line 62. I know we didn't, uh, Ah, okay, fine. Let's do this. Let's say uh, combined alpha, just so it's even closer. Uh, there, okay, build out row. We made 62 though, so hopefully we can make it all of the way. Let's back test and generate any laws. I asked it to build, I thought. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Come on, start. So optimize is a lot slower um, than the other method that we were just using. So I'll probably pause while this one runs. That way, if you want to wait till it goes all the way through, great. And if you don't, you can just kind of uh, keep watching so you don't have to run it yourself if you don't want. Looks like it's starting. Fantastic, I'm gonna cancel it, run a full back test. And are we, ten, I think we're 10 million, or yeah, 10 million, let's see. Yep, be nice if there were some commas there. Okay, run the full back test. <laughs> Okay, so while that's running, I don't think the other one's running, so I hope this is our only running back test. And uh, and I think probably 
you know, what I'm going to recommend is you should probably go through both this and, um, and I'll try to po post the links in the description uh, for this notebook and then also the post for running through the API with the uh, algorithms. Um, I would highly suggest you go through here and read it, but then also just kind of play with the code yourself to kind of get used to it. But there's not too many constraints and objectives that we can set right now. And I cannot remember, I don't think there's any documentation yet uh, for uh, the Optimize API. So basically it's kind of like a little bit of trial and error uh, for yourself. Actually, you know what? I think there is document because I've seen some documentation somewhere. Let me see. Let's, let's check. Optimize, optimize, opt. I forget where I've seen it. I've seen um, some of the functions for optimize. I think it exists somewhere. I just can't, I just don't know where. Let's see, portfolio optimization. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, there are only like very few kind of objectives and constraints that you can kind of deal with right now, at least from my brief kind of poking around. Um, but anyway, yeah, so even now, I'm pretty sure we're doing better so far. And let me see here, view code. Um, we're checking for, yeah. Okay, yeah, so there, there's no definition for any commissions here, so therefore we're using default commissions in this strategy as well. So we're gonna compare this basically to the other one that we just ran, I think that this one that had no commissions, correct? And is working off of just simply quantiles. So as opposed to just kind of arbitrarily slicing the quantiles and thinking nothing more of our strategy, Instead, we're, we're, we're doing something a little more sophisticated. Uh, and let's see if I can uh, go to the algorithms here. And in fact, let me pause. Well, I'm going to pause while that back test is running. I'm going to see if I can't find what I was thinking. I, I've read something on the Optimize API that kind of went through the methods that, and stuff that we could use. So let me see if I can't find that. Um, as things are, of course, it only took me like two seconds as soon as I paused. Um, so first of all, if I forget to post these links, you can go to Google and, and just type like optimize API Quantopian and you'll find both of the threads, the ones that's now available in algorithms and also the request for feedback. Um, but anyway, in the one for the algorithms, if you scroll down, he's posted an updated version of his notebook. You can either view or clone it, um, come into here and there still isn't any official documentation, I don't think, but this serves as pretty good documentation and examples. And if you come down here, it's kind of like an overview of how to use the, the API. And then here he posts the doc strings. So here, this is I think where I, I was seeing what I was talking about a moment ago, um, basically all your options and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, you really, you really can just use the skeleton that he posted <laughs> and it's probably going to be better than um, arbitrarily choosing things, especially cause now you can at least, um, take note of like things like sector and stuff like that, but I highly encourage you to just kind of play around with it. I mostly am just showing you as, as a simple example, as opposed to just splitting quantiles. Um, let's see, where is, oh, here we are. Okay, so this is optimize plus, and then was it this one that had the, I'm getting everything confused. Let's see, uh, yeah, so this was no commission. This was with commission. And then this one is the one that just ran now. So alpha 06 and then beta 02, same as that. Um, optimize gave us, let's see. And let me check, let me make sure we're going. So this one had better returns um, and no commission, but the, the sharp ratio is significantly lower than the one that was using optimize, same with Sortino, of course. Um, volatility here is a little lower and then same with drawdown here, much less drawdown. I mean, if you, you can even tell just looking at it, that this one has more volatility. This is just less volatility. It's just smoother. Our overall return is less, but, um, the way that we got that return is much more, um, safe and predictable. Also, it looks like we've made, yeah, much less trades. And, Ooh, let's see, which one was this? Let's see. 
This one's our six. Even this one, like actually, even though we made a lot, we we actually went into the negatives at one point, and then this one just never went into the negatives. Fascinating. All right, so there's a lot of playing around with this that you could do. Mostly, I just wanted to bring it to your attention that it's a possibility now on Quantopian, and I'm going to go ahead and wager it's probably the best way to go about it because it, it just takes the guesswork, and you're much less likely to just pick random things and keep trying until something works. Uh, so, yeah. Um, the other, you might want to get rid of like, certain things here that you might not agree with necessarily, like... You don't have to go based on like dollar volume and stuff like that. So you could remove some of those things. Um, where are we? Let's see. Or did we not even use those? Maybe we didn't, because I think we just like copy and pasted our strategy over that. Oh yeah. So so probably what would be cool is actually to combine that initial. Um, strategy with this one, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just this this one's getting kind of long, so I'm <laughs> gonna cut it off here. Um, anyway, uh, the uh, last thing that we probably should do is with the optimized plus alpha combos. Uh, where is that? It wasn't this one. Let's see. Back test. Okay, we can take this back test now. That's our code for the back test. We can. Um, and what we're going to do now is we can come back to our uh, notebook for research. I'm kind of undecided if I want to do a uh, a new one or what. Let's just, I guess we could do a new one. Um, and then and just quickly do a quick back test check of this. So BT equals get back test. Paste in that string. Make sure it works. It's taking a while. Okay. And then bt die create full tear sheet. So we already kind of knew these numbers. Um, very good. Next draw down. Man. That actually went pretty well. Um, the other thing you might want to check, and I, actually I already ran it, so I'll show it to you, is the full, um, let me pull it up for you guys, like go over the entire, you know, Centex timeline. Uh, let's see, which one would it be? <laughs> uh, probably here, let me see. I'm pulling up the full back test of this strategy against all, you know, I think it's from, yeah, June 5th, 2013, all the way up to December 18th, 2016. And while that's pulling up, um, we can keep going through here. Yeah, this, is, this looks so much better than the first one that we had. Very good. So, anyway, um, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, gross leverage, day trading volume. Cool. So we've made huge improvements over just by combining. Um, and actually, those alpha factors were all like weaker than the sentiment alpha. The so sentiment was already a weak alpha factor, and then you had applied two more weak alpha factors, and you've, we've made huge progress. Um, so the next steps here are would be to. Um, check for correlation of these alpha factors. So if two of the alpha factors that we're using are correlated, like I forget if it was re if it was revenue or if it was the opera operating margin or whatever. Um, one of them was like definitely uh, it appeared to be correlated to sen sentiment. Um, so you'd want to check for that. Uh, and here is the uh, all time. So for total returns matched to drawdown, uh, it's not looking too hot. Sharp's not great, Sortino's not great, and Volatility's not great. So it's better, and also this this was uh, with default fees. So it'd be interesting what would happen if we removed, if we basically didn't have the, those default trading fees, and it, this would probably be much better. Um, but what we're gonna, what you would probably wanna do at this point is fix the whole, like we still kind of have a shorting issue. We've improved it quite a bit, but our strategy obviously is not prepared because it's so market neutral and, and pretty even on long and short. Um, we're, we're just not doing well enough long term on our bets. Our bets aren't 
good enough. Like we definitely have alpha. We're able to trade on that alpha. We're able to make a profit um, trading on that alpha, but it's not good enough. We, we definitely need to make some improvements. Anyway, um, that's enough for now. That's a ton of information to throw at you. Uh, like I said, I would check out the Optimize API, kind of go through the, uh, you can clone the sample algorithm, but definitely go through that notebook. I guess I probably got rid of it already. Is it now available in algorithms? And then yeah, it's down here. I'll try to link to it if I forget. Someone can remind me and I'll, I'll link to it. Um, but work through that and kind of get comfortable with using it. And the, really the best way to learn that is, is really trial and error in my opinion. So um, check those out. And if you if it's just too much for you or whatever, that's totally fine. You can, you can stick with the whole quantiles thing. The quantiles were fine. Uh, and we, we actually, I think this was a quantile one. Yeah, like this one used quantiles and, and we did okay. Uh, it's just that using the optimized API, you're, you're much more likely to get even better, like nice, nicely and smoothed out returns. So anyways, um, yeah. So if you have any questions, improvements, concerns, errors, you need help with something, let me know below. Otherwise I will see you in another video.